Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to return to planet Mars and talk about some other incredible discoveries from some of the recent studies. This time, we've found even more unusual underground liquid water lakes. And at the moment, some of them don't really have a very good explanation. But more importantly, it actually opens up an entire opportunity for us to possibly easily colonize this planet in the future. And that's of course for one very important reason. We know that Mars has a lot of water ice, but we never really knew until recently that there's also liquid water deep inside. Something that the scientists discovered back in 2018. And even though originally the scientists weren't really sure if this is what they're looking at, over the past few years the scientists discovered even more of these unusual formations, which only seemed to reinforce the idea that there is definitely a lot of unusual liquid water underneath the Martian surface. But I guess the first question here would be, well, how is it even possible and can liquid water exist in these conditions? Which of course are some of these questions that the new study tries to tackle as well. Well, first of all, we know from examples here on our own planet that it's possible for liquid water to exist really deep underground even in super super cold conditions. The best example here is Lake Vostok located in Antarctica. And so when the radar signals that were bounced off the surface of Mars revealed unusual shiny patches inside the surface of Mars, the patches that you kind of see right here that made the radar bounce off a little bit more than usual, based on what we know from our own planet, the scientists instantly assumed that this was very likely liquid water deposits. But it was very difficult to explain how it's still possible. Over time, more and more of these patches were discovered underneath the surface, suggesting that there were actually these patches of unusual liquid formations located at different depths underneath the Martian surface in various places. But unfortunately, discovering more of these patches only created more problems. Some of the regions where the water patches were discovered would be very, very cold, almost impossible to explain how anything liquid can actually exist there. Even briny water, super super salty water that can usually exist in liquid form at super low temperatures, would just not be able to exist in these very cold temperatures, suggesting that there was some sort of a mystery. Either A, this was not water, or B, something was keeping the water liquid by warming it up. Something geological, some kind of a volcanic activity. And because the recent discoveries and the recent analysis suggest that these patches are pretty much all over the surface of Mars, it sort of implies that either liquid water is everywhere on Mars, or maybe these radar signals are caused by something entirely different that we just don't really understand. Which kind of would make sense, I guess, simply because of the technique used here. So generally the way that the scientists try to detect all of this is by scanning the surface with radar. The radar usually goes pretty deep inside the ground, but certain type of materials underneath can actually reflect it much easier than others. From doing this type of a scanning here on planet Earth, the scientists generally know what kind of reflections they'll get if there is some sort of an underwater deposit, and these reflections definitely match the ones from Mars. And for the past 15 years or so, NASA has been continuously scanning the surface of Mars, specifically actually using a mission known as Marsis, the mission that was able to cover a very large part of Mars, including the South Pole, where a lot of these unusual lakes were discovered. Now the thing about the South Pole is that, well, it already has ice on the surface. It sort of kind of looks like this. And this of course also implies that it's very likely much colder here. And a lot of these newly discovered patches close to the South Pole of Mars were actually much more shallow than some of the previous discoveries. Here the depth was less than one kilometer, less than about half a mile. And this means that the temperatures here would be very, very low, around minus 60 degrees Celsius or about minus 80 Fahrenheit. And although hypothetically it is possible for water to maintain its liquid form if we add a lot of salt into it, and here we're talking about salts like calcium and magnesium, in this case there were also several papers that did suggest it's almost impossible for liquid water to exist under the South Pole without something heating it up. And the best possible explanation for what could heat it up would be some sort of a volcanic geological activity underneath. But the problem here is that, well, we don't really think that there are volcanoes in the South Pole of Mars. No South Pole volcanoes have ever been discovered. As a matter of fact, the entire surface here is clear of any volcanic activity, and the only known volcanic features on Mars are in much higher latitudes. And so it's very difficult to explain what can possibly warm up this liquid water. The natural geothermal heat is unfortunately much lower on Mars than on Earth, so it would be impossible for it to provide enough energy. 
And so because of this, the scientists find themselves in a bit of a pickle here. It's a mystery that nobody really has an answer to. It seems to be liquid water, but if so, what's keeping it liquid? And if it's not liquid water, then what exactly is causing these reflections that appear to be liquid water? Reflections present pretty much all over the surface of Mars, or technically underneath the surface. Here we're talking about depths of anywhere from just a few hundred meters up to about 4 kilometers. But for now, a lot of scientists still want to believe and want to make an assumption that it is liquid water after all. It just has some sort of a mechanism to keep it warm. And if there is so much liquid water underneath the surface, it obviously presents an excellent opportunity for a lot of future manned missions. By being able to extract this liquid water from underneath the surface, we'll be able to definitely provide enough needed resources for a successful manned mission to Mars. And this is of course one of the better discoveries coming from this unusual and somewhat hostile planet. Although I guess at the moment it's still very difficult to say exactly what it is and if it's going to help us colonize Mars or if it's going to help us discover something else really unusual. Either way, the mysterious reflective patches underneath the surface of Mars is probably one of the more exciting discoveries from Mars in the last few years. Which means that we'll be coming back and talking more about them in some of the future videos. And until then, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, and maybe come back tomorrow to learn something else. Maybe support this channel on Patreon by joining the channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.